Uh, you said something ping, right? Ping, yes. Cherry blossom. Maybe that's that's the one. Uh, well, you know? Let me check. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You can check the one. <laughs> Cherry blossom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Yeah, of course, a lot of people love that lag, right? But uh, yes. recently, I heard like it's overcrowded. Is it? Is it true, Jim? Like there are too many people there. Yes, I think uh, um, very, very um, um, people love mm. Dalai. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's the reason why I, I don't visit Dalai anymore. Because, <laughs> you know, there are so many people. Yeah? Yes, I, I'll be I'll be there before, so I let the other have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Love to talk to you. So we move on to oh Dong Yi just come. Dong Yi, can you share? Pick any of the the sentence here, right? And then you can share with the class. <coughs> oh bless you. You forgot to <laughs> turn off the mic. Dong Yi, no? Okay, Yi Wing, please. Oh. Uh, by the way, while waiting for your turn, can you guys uh, answer the ins? Sorry, answer any of the questions here and put it in the chat box. Yeah, while waiting for your turn. Huh? Okay, so you got something to do. Huh? Yi, Nhật Yi. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Go. Uh, answer the question. When, when I'm on the holiday, I love to stay in the. Uh, uh, uh thank you come on yeah. man no no this is, this is not like something what so when you're holiday and i in like hotel resort homestay uh, okay. it's a hotel at 20. oh yeah you like to stay in hotel yeah not a resort why not a resort is bigger uh uh <laughs> my uh, parents uh, uh, bring me to uh, the hotel. <laughs> uh, so uh, I just uh, uh, live with them. Yeah, my parents live at hotel. Yeah, no, you know, you, you, your parents choose, right? Choose to yeah. stay in the hotel. So actually, you, you cannot say anything. Yeah. So you have no voice. Not decide. You know, decide. You. Anyway, yeah, decide. what? Yeah. It's like you cannot decide, huh? Yeah, I cannot decide. <laughs> so just use my favorite music. Use some super words. Okay. And uh, something wrong with your mic as well. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of noisy there. But can, can you put your, your avatar instead of the dog? You know, you, you make me hungry. <laughs> what? <laughs> why? You put the dog there. Come on, right? Yeah, your your face, not the dog face. Uh, Mr. Home, <laughs> Mr. Home, Home, Lee Sung, right? Mr. Home. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Okay, so which one do you want to share? Yeah, I uh, like traveling. So I think Vietnam. We have many many places, beautiful places to visit. The land. Mm -hmm. Phú Quốc, Nha Trang, Sapa, right. Hạ Long. Right. I think uh, on is a very beautiful place, yeah. Mm. So? So oh, I think I, I, I cannot decide which place is the uh, most beautiful. Oh, you're going to decide the most incredible place. Yeah. Because there are so many beautiful places. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mr. Hong, you know what? I think you haven't been to the real one. <laughs> That's the reason why you cannot decide, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do agree with you, right? Each place has their own beauty. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. But you, you never go to a place and you say, wow, it's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. Never like that? Mm, yeah, but I, I, I don't feel like that, yeah. Hmm. Okay, right. Maybe we need to go to somewhere, huh? Yeah. Not not in Vietnam, you know. Just just go somewhere, travel around the world. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you, thank you, Mr. Hong. Yeah, you say places, places. You can say attractions, attractions. Another word is sites. There are many words, right? That's their synonyms. Now let's uh, continue with another friend. You're welcome. Uh, oh, Bao Wen only share a site. <laughs> Bao Wen couldn't agree more. Yeah, that's one girl. Khả Yan, continue with Khả Yan. Uh, when I'm on holiday, I love to stay in a uh, in resort, mm -hmm. uh, in Đà Lạt. Uh, oh, because, Đà Lạt again. <laughs> yes, because continue. I want to stay in resort, um, a bit far from the city and mostly near the pine forest. Oh, so I, I can uh, breathe the uh, with the cool air and feel the atmosphere oh. in the lab. Wow, wow. So are you talking about somewhere near Sung Hương Lake? Yes, right? like oh. Tuyền Lâm Lake. Oh, Tuyền Lâm Lake. Yeah, reading the fresh air, right? The fresh air. That's, that's a resort there. You, you stay there? Do you ever stay there? Uh, I just stayed there well, last year. Uh -huh. How do you feel? It's amazing. It's it was amazing. very amazing. Wow, okay. I should give it a try, huh? Yeah. You know, the time that uh, my, my wife and I went there was probably like 12 years ago. And at that time, we didn't have any resorts there. It's just very rural, that's place. Very rural, you know, no development. You can feel, yeah, I think it's, it's felt really amazed. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. But now things have changed. Okay, um, should we good? So you guys tend to talk about, you know, when where you stay, right? And uh, beautiful place. What about the activities? Lang, can you share activities when traveling, Lang? It's me, right? Oh yeah, this is only you, Lang, yeah. I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I think, uh, when I'm ho on holiday, I love to stay in a resort near the beach. So uh, the activity I like most is uh, go to the beach, swim in the beach. Uh, no, no, wait, 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 you cannot swim in the beach. <laughs> no, you cannot swim there. A little bit. <laughs> you can, no, you can play on the beach, you know? Uh, yeah, 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 but you can swim, you swim in the ocean. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> got it. Right. Okay, got it, yeah. okay. And also swim in the swimming pool. Oh, the swimming pool. Oh, come on. I don't like it. Pool of uh, it's fun, huh? Uh, you go to the pit first. You play at the uh, pit, swim in the ocean. Right. Then you go to the swimming pool and right. swim to the swim in the swimming pool. Then you go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> My God, thank you. You want me through all of the stages. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, no. Are you scared of the chemicals? Sorry? The chemical in the swimming pool, you know? Yeah, but sometimes we, uh, we, we, we should try because uh, oh. it's a fun time, right? Mm. I do agree with you. It's so mm. right. Yeah. yeah. We, we shouldn't be like too careful with our life, right? Yeah. yeah. Last time you said that uh, should not uh, so clean, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Okay. We have a lot in common. Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, Langwin. Uh, okay. You think we think all right with, with the, the warm up? Yeah. So we yeah. go through like uh, a lot of friends here. Thank you. Now moving on to another activities. Then. Yes. So now um, I'm, I'm about to show you some of the popular tourist destination in Vietnam. Right? So you just make a guess. Uh, look at a photo here. I'm sure you know uh, where it is. Let's, let's look at this. The three hints. Where do you think? Can you put it in the chat box? Yeah, put it in the chat box. The answer. Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> Look, uh, right, right, Phuong go first, right? Phuong, Phuong, she got it first. Congratulations, Phuong. Phuong, have you been there? Phuong, Phuong? Not yet. Really? You don't have a chance? 
Yeah. Yes. Um, really, really busy because uh, after uh, after high school and uh, college, I'm busy. Right. Um, for studying, so I don't have to uh, change to and no money, of course, no money to go there. But when I fly to London, I just have eight eight days off in Vietnam, so no change. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? So, so now, if when will you have time, right? If you say like, if you don't have time now, right? The weekend is when, like when you are sixty or something. Come on. Uh, Can you pardon me, please? Last yeah, yeah. I mean, when will you have free time to travel? Like, I still travel in here, but I mean that in Vietnam, I don't have a chance to travel. Oh, in Vietnam. I see. Yeah, you just have seven days off. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, hey, do you guys know the the new attraction in you guys? Anyone knows? They just opened up. Wonderland. Wonderland? Is that Wonderland? It does. From Vin... Vin Oh. Uh, Grand World, right? Grand World. Oh. Yeah. It looks like Venice. Just a little bit uglier. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's uh, very modern, right? It's very modern. Okay. If you guys go to work, you should visit Grand World. Now, another place, another place, of course. Here you go. This place in central Vietnam, the streets are decorated with full of lanterns at night. Easy. Where is it? Yay! <laughs> Language, got it. Congratulations, you got it. Yeah. Lang, I spent my honeymoon there, Lang. In Hoi An. <laughs> what do you mean no? What do you mean no? Okay. Oh yeah, right. That a beautiful place. Anyone have been there? Oh, nice. Yeah, I see. Oh, a lot of tea as well. Take a pure uh, wedding picture in there. Oh really? <laughs> wedding picture? Oh, my God. Yeah. And 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 I I spent my honeymoon there. Yeah, one night, yeah, one night, it's so fun. Okay. Oh, uh Kanchi, -huh. raise your hand, yeah. Oh, you've been, you've been to Hoi An, Kanchi? When was it? Yeah, two times. The, last, um, the nearest one is about one to two years ago, but yeah, you know, it in COVID-19, so it's not really starting. It's not really started. Really? This is not very exciting. Yeah, Due because COVID, you have to wear a mask? Yeah, and most of the store is closed. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you are very brave, right? <laughs> Nobody wants to travel, but, but you, you travel. Yeah. You know, you know, with my family, and like, it's not, it's not really, like, it's not people, much people, like, right. Um, not not much busy like in festival or some normal day, but yeah, still just a little bit boring. Oh yeah, still quiet. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's quiet. Yeah, I know. Young age, yeah. Right? For for people like me, you know, at my age, yeah. So they love the quiet. Yeah, yeah but like it's so quiet. Like festival cities and like most of the store is closing and you, you, you don't have anything to do so I think it's boring too. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, if, if we keep going then uh, you know it's uh, it's over right? Time's up. <laughs> Moving on. Yay. Amazing bright terraces. Breathtaking views fresh air. You can explore ethnic cultures and try exotic cuisine. Where is it? Come on, Kung Kong Lang, no, no way. Saba, Kayan, yeah. Congratulations. Kayan, you've been there? Tay Wing? Yes. Uh-huh. How many times? Uh just one when I was in grade eight. 
Wow, great. Hey, long time ago. Yeah. Yes. So uh, can you share with us some of the, your experience? Anything? Uh, I went to Sabah in a very, very early in the morning, so I was sleep. Okay. <laughs> I don't see anything. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you travel and you just left. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So would you like to visit that place again? Uh, of course. It was very beauty. It's, it's a beautiful but, place. Right? No, yeah, yes, it has a very beautiful scenery. Right, right. But did, did you see the t right terraces? Yes. Right terraces? Uh, yes, yeah. yes, but um, when I went to there, it's like it's um, not very beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see no rice, right? No yes. rice. Yes. Oh, okay. Guys, when you travel, you need to choose the time, right? Yeah, the most beautiful time. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you have any new words here, you can take note. We move to another popular place in Vietnam. It's a cultural melting pot, the largest city in Vietnam. Where is it? Lang, are you sure, Lang? <laughs> no. Not sure. No, no, no. Not the place. Ho Chi Minh City? Correct. Yeah, Ho Chi Minh City. Yes. yes. Ho Chi Minh City. Come on. It's easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Okay. I think the food in Ho Chi Minh City is the best. Yeah. Because I live here. <laughs> right? Because I live here, so it's the best. Okay. Um, Ho Chi Minh City. Yay, okay, that's it. Yeah. Now now we do the speaking test. Can you guys look at page 81, sorry, 82 in your book? Hmm. Yeah. Here we go. This is the one. So you know in speaking part one, they often ask you to describe where you live, right? Okay. So uh, now let's listen to the sample answer. Where is it? What does it look like? And what do people do there? She will answer the questions. And we will write out the words that she used to describe her city. Okay? Just the adjective. adjective. Yeah. Her voice is very funny. Gifting. Drug gifting. Track 15, Unit 8, Speaking, Exercise 2. Let's talk about tourism in your town or village. Can you describe your town or village? I come from Balakova in Russia. It's a very modern industrial city, which is situated on the river Volga. What else? A lot of young professional people who live there work in the offices and industries. Let me think, it's mainly blocks of flats, but we do have some beautiful monuments. Can you hear her well? Yeah? So what are some adjectives she used to describe her city? Anyone? Oh, yeah, please go ahead. Uh, it's very modern industrial city. Excellent, yeah, it's very modern industrial city. Can you use that to describe Ho Chi Minh City? Yes, For sure, right? exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, the city you, you live in now, in Canada? Um, Is it modern? It's the richest city. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? It's the richest city? It's uh, produce oil. Oh. Uh, okay. So even though it's uh, less population, right. but it's really rich. 
Oh, okay. So right. most people dry in super scar or something. Kind of, but uh, they have the 2000 CNC machine workshop in here. So, yeah, like they make the oil, um, right. like part, I don't know. It's about the field. Okay. <laughs> I don't know either. So, yeah, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, that's the one. Do you guys hear any phrases that she used to keep her going? Is that, anyone got that? The phrases that she used to keep going. Maybe too fast, huh? Too fast. Here, one more time. Let's talk about tourism in your town or village. Can you describe your town or village? I come from Balakova in Russia. It's a very modern industrial city, which is situated on the river Volga. What else? Uh what is the use? Yes, please. What else? What else? Yeah, what else? One more, one more phrase here. A lot of young people who live there work in the office and industries. Let me think. It's mainly blocks of flats, but we do have some beautiful monuments. What's the second phrase? What's the second phrase that's the use? What else? Anyone? Oh, yeah, Wing Le, that's the one. Oh, that one, raise your hand. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you, thank you, guys. Yeah, let me think. Do you think it's okay to use these phrases when you speak? Yes or no? Is it okay? Yes. Oh, you ain't say no? Who say yes? The answer is yes or no. Okay, don't, you still can use it, but don't overuse it, all right? We, yeah, you, you cannot say, let me think on the time. But we have to use it right, I think so. You can use it in the right way, right? Yeah, right, that's fine. Okay, what else? Here you guys, we call a few, yeah? you can take notes. Oh, I mean, of course, yes, but don't overuse it. Okay. You know that uh, anything, right? Anything in life is too much, not good for you. Let's see, hang on, yeah. Wait, second question. What in the examiner question? What do you do? You understand, you don't understand the question, right? What do you do, class? You smile. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'll pick a friend, huh? Uh, thank you. If you don't understand the question, what do you do? Well, it's quite hard. Um, when I'm not understand the question. Ah, uh, the question, right? Yeah. So, what do you do? Um, I'm trying to translate some some keywords. You try to translate some keywords. <laughs> Come on, ask the examiner to explain it. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Can can you repeat? Pardon. All right. Uh, Could you explain the word? If you don't understand the word, you can say you can ask the examiner to explain. Can ask. Sure. Of course. Yeah. 
this uh, this is not like uh, something serious, you know. Yeah, just speaking, no big deal. Oh, okay, okay. Right, right. Thank you, thank you. Now moving on, guys. Um, wait, I will skip this one. I think we got a weapon in your book. Everyone, look at exercise three in your book here. So we have four questions. Can you describe your town village? How important is tourism in your town village? What places would you recommend and what festival take place? Right? Some useful phrases here. I'd like you to use them in your talk. Is it okay? Now I will share the Padlet. All of you can answer. Huh? One, two, four. You good? Yeah? And so all of that. All right, guys, I think, um, yeah, that's time for the feedback, right? Um, you guys can still keep uploading, uploading your work here, right? So I can uh, keep, yeah, later. So uh, I just uh, have four friends here. Uh, Foom, right? This one must be Foom. Yeah. Foom, you can do present perfect, continuous. I've been leaving in, yeah. Uh, previously, I, I, I used to live in Vietnam, but now I work here, I work and live here. So, you, if you use present perfect in US, you have higher score for grammar. That's good. And speak faster as well, you know, just your speech is a little bit uh, slow. <laughs> uh, for Lang, you need to extend your answer for the first question. It's like this right your town or village, it's uh, a little bit short. Huh? And for question two, I think it's up the topic line. Yeah? Let's, uh, let's ask him to deal with question two here. How important is in your town, Yim? Yes, uh, in my opinion, tourism is very important in human city. Um, and increase uh, the income of people in Ho Chi Minh City and uh, um, uh, tourism can uh, uh, promote the cultural exchange uh, from uh, different country when uh, visitor comes to Ho Chi Minh City. Hmm. Why, 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 why is it good? Why is it beneficial for us? Right. If we can have something like culture exchange, how do we benefit from that? From culture exchange, can you explain? Mm. I think that uh, we can learn uh, many good uh, culture from other country. And uh, really? yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We we don't visit their their city, but they come here and they we we still can learn from them. You sure? Yes, I think so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. To some extent. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We have a lot of friends here. Uh, let's. Yeah. Just keep posting, guys. Uh, look, ye. The last one in in the list here. Yes. Hello. Okay. Uh, are you from city? I'm from Ho Chi Minh City. Can you describe your town or city? Um. Okay. So, as you know, Ho Chi Minh City is the largest, and in my opinion, it's like the modern city in the world in Ho Chi Minh, in Vietnam. It's very beautiful. I have a lot of skyscrapers, a lot of high buildings or apartments that are very beautiful. Also, the streets are there are a lot of people in my city, so it's some it's sometimes very crowded and maybe noisy. But I like that's noisy because, uh, yeah, I'm a very generic uh, genetic, so I want to have a lot of people surrounding me, so I can be playing with them or be fun. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah, that's it. 
Was ist das? Oh mein Gott. Das ist mit einem Lining. Oh, das war's. Ja, das war's. Okay, good enough. Yeah. So you love the vibe here in the city. It's so energetic. It's full of young people. Whenever you go, you will run into people. Yeah. If you're not careful, they will hit you. <laughs> okay. Then. Good job, yeah. yeah. That's a good answer. Trần Thư. Trần Thư, are you there? Thư Trần. Trần Thư, no. Hmm. Thế Nam. Thế Nam, are you there? What do you mean? Yes. Can you can you speak? This is speaking class. Yeah. Hello. Can you speak? Oh, it's, it's, it's spoken forever. <laughs> My God, Nam. Go on, eh? Make it work. Yeah. You need you need the the mic to. Oh, you you don't have somebody to fix it. Oh. See you. Thumb down, please. Thumb down. Oh, she's named. She named after a famous singer. Thumb down. Oh my God, are you sleeping, Thumb down? Oh my God, no. Yeah, a lot of friends. A lot of friends. Yes. Phương An, please. Yes. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God you're here. Now, what places would you recommend people to visit in your town? Well, I live in Ho Chi Minh City. So if you're in history, then there are many tourist attractions that you can visit here, like the Independent Palace or the Kuji Tunnel. And important thing to drive when in Ho Chi Minh City is that the exotic cuisines here, especially the street food, is really famous and it's contained many other regions of the cuisine's culture as well. <laughs> oh, okay, good enough, but where? Is that, is that yeah, anywhere? just say uh, Independent Palace. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, yeah, if you are a fan of history, something like that, right? I understand it. Yeah. But you say uh, you should try the exotic cuisine here. Where Street can I try food. it? Street food. Um, there's many ways. Yeah. They're everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, 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 you know, be careful with food poisoning, huh? You know food poisoning? Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, you have a very nice voice. Good pronunciation. Yeah, just uh, just the last part about food, yeah? Not clear enough. Mm. But yeah, the first yeah. part is okay. Thank you. Thanks. Last question, guy. What festival, uh, Tanguin, please? What festival take place in your local area? I need you to list a number of festivals, not just one. Uh, yes, I live in uh, the uh, province. In province, the city, province. province, province. In the province city, so it has a uh, famous uh, festivals in my uh, province. Is the uh, um, uh, kung fu uh, tây sơn tây sơn kung fu and traditional. So uh, yes, and uh, <laughs> uh, in the in the uh, festival of uh, kung fu, they will. Uh, performing many uh, material uh, uh, kinds of uh, yeah so uh, uh, you can see the uh, they uh, yes kung fu uh, uh, and um, uh, when you uh, uh, go to on times in a festival uh, you will uh, see the uh, by joy uh, by joy festival uh, also wow well, yes. yeah something that i haven't heard before yeah wow yes. wow uh, is there anything else uh, any more exciting festival in your city or town uh, by joy is a um, 
uh, when you go to the festival, they have many songs, traditional mm. songs, mm. uh, so you can hear and uh, play a game like uh, 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 như là một cái loại. <laughs> that's the voice guy. Yeah, that's the voice Vietnam. Eh? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Chị chị bài ấy thầy. Ồ. Oh. Đó là cái cược đó thầy. Okay, that thing. Oh, yes. I see. Like lotto guys. You know lotto? Yes, lotto. Yeah. And if you have a highest a highest a lot a highest mark you will win. Oh. Yes. That's the one. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. Thank you, thank you, thank we, yeah, for the festival there. Um, anyone else? Philong, Philong the dragon. Uh, hello. Hello, Long. Yeah, we go through number one to four already. Now, which question do you want to share with? Um, Any question you want? One, two, three, four. What? You don't know? How important is tourism in your town? Uh, one, question one. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Uh, I live in Longsing City. Uh -huh. I like my town because my town is quiet. Everything is cheap and affordable. Uh, there's not a lot of traffic going around, so... Um, You, you don't need to worry about traffic jams and also uh, uh, uh. Come on, compared to Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah, you, you know Ho Chi Minh City or compared to other cities in the world? What? So it's just a small town? Yeah, small town. All right. Does it have fresh air? Yes. Oh, okay. Do you think it's a good place to live? Yes, because everything is affordable and cheaper than the big city. Yeah, that's done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, long. Yeah, that's done. How about yourself somewhere? Where and what? Who? Um, shall we move on? Yeah. Right, let's learn some more vocab, guys. This one. Um, so these are the opposite adjectives you can use to describe a place. Yeah. For example, more than ancient. Which one? Yeah. Whole class, we can do it together. It's a uh, safe time, lots of time. It's opposite. Who knows? Peaceful, noisy. Thank you, Lane. That's correct. Clean. Busy, guys. Right? <laughs> no, no, no. The yeah, it is quiet. Hey, it's quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. Google, guys. Google. Thank you. Thank you, Urban. Yes. Remember, these are all adjectives to this right place. Yeah? Okay, moving on. We have popular. What about the other answer? Wealthy, wealthy. Opposite. Poor, yeah, poor. Wait, do you guys do you guys live in a wealthy neighborhood or a poor neighborhood, guy? Wealthy or poor? 
Oh, really? Thân Nguyễn? Ngủ lên, ngủ thịt hả? Yeah. Where did you live last night? Oh, District 2, my God. Yay, that's the place. There it is. <laughs> no? Very poor. Very poor. <laughs> okay. Where? <laughs> it's a secret, yeah? It's a secret, you know? Um, we'll see. Right, right, guys, number 10, colorful. Awful, colorful, awful, really? No, wonderful and awful, right? It's something wonderful and it's awful mean bad. Yeah. Dull, yeah, dull is colorful, opposite colorful. Yeah. Right. Opposite, huh? Opposite. Sorry, that's not equal. It should be opposite. Yeah, that's it, right? We're affectionable and unfectionable. Do we have an outdated, right? Outdated. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Okay. What next? Oh my god. Hey, can you can you do the next activities here? Um, you guys will use the adjective you just learned and put them in the right place. You know, just Get a photo and describe them. Yeah, we use two adjectives from exercise four. For example, this one in Dubai, an impressive modern hotel. What about this one? Yeah, number two, three, four, five, six. Right. Um, I'll give you two minutes. Okay. Bảo Ngân. Yes. Oh. Hello, can you help me to describe photo number two? Yes, uh, for number two, I uh, to noisy and uh, wealthy. Oh, are you sure? It's a wealthy area? You sure about that? Yes, uh, I think this is a lot of cars, so it's uh, yeah, noisy. Yeah, it's a bit noisy, I, I do agree with you. But, yes. uh, but not wealthy. <laughs> so you can say it's a busy urban area. Yes, uh, it's a busy area. Right. What, how about photo three? Can you describe photo three? As well? Photo three is it, uh, fashionable and uh, maybe uh, more. Uh, fashionable and modern district. Mm, yes. Fashionable. Yeah. Fashionable and wealthy district. Yes. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Wealthy district. Thank you. Thank you, Bang Ngân. Yeah. Now yes. let's uh, yeah. let's come back to Mạnh Lê. Yes, Mạnh Lê. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, picture four, five and six, boy. Four. I think four is uh, in uh poor and uh, unimpressive what monuments. <laughs> unimpressive notice say like, this is unimpressive boy yeah, i i have to disagree with you yeah. no, i think it's uh okay okay um, yeah that's, that's what i think ah. and uh, yeah, number five number five, five is uh peaceful in quiet land it's a peaceful and, and Quiet. Quiet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so a peaceful and quiet landscape. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And number six is um, fashionable and uh, uh, noisy, you know, experience. Yeah. Man, man, man. Now, if you say something is noisy, you don't like it. Yeah. It's like oh. Noisy experience. Nobody like it. Okay. So yeah. So uh, 
So I will change to um, fashionable and colorful stories. Fashionable, you think so? Uh, yeah. Okay, there you go. The answer, guys. So uh, for number six, you can say it's an exciting, exciting, colorful experience. Lots of color, right? A peaceful and rural landscape, you got it? Popular ancient monuments. Okay. Uh, for the order of the adjective, you know, we we have the order like this one. Um, you always put your opinion first. Is it beautiful or ugly? Right? And then the size, large, the age, young, old, the shape, color, origin, and the material. It's easy to change to the most difficult to change. Yeah, it's like that. Most difficult change. Normally, we just put two adjectives before now. Yeah, if you put like three adjectives before now, it's we right only two, huh? We take a break. After break, we do listening, and then we come back to speaking part two. All right, great job.